Welcome back to another really exciting video. So let's explore how to use Photoshop Neural Filter. It's pretty simple and interesting because you can control your facial expression and all the things. It's really important for wedding photographers and old photographers because just one click you can do everything. So stay tuned how to use the Neural Filter. Open your latest uh, Photoshop version. I have 2021. So I this neural filter only available on this 2021 right now because the latest features from Adobe side. So anyway, I just open one image into Photoshop and go to filter here. You can find neural filter. Maybe it's disabled on your Photoshop because you have to sign in because you have to purchase the original Photoshop. Then only you will get the neural filter because right now it's in beta version still in development stage. That's why you have to purchase your Photoshop. Anyway, the first option here you can enable the skin smoothing and it, it will smoothen your skin. Also, the artifacts removal. It will remove all cluttered things from your image. It's really important for wedding photographers and yeah, because basically what you need the skin smoothing and remove clutter. And that's all. You will get all these things. From here, you can change the you can preview uh, the after and before scenes just click on this button that's all and here if you click here you can see the what is the behind means the pre before and after images so they'll perfectly smoothen your skin and remove all these artifacts and next one style transfer so just click one style it's like photoshop uh, filter gallery you'll get a lot of styles and if your photo is higher resolution and you can adjust the brush size and style strength everything from here and it's really interesting and also you can do some creative steps uh, based on uh, if you click on the show more uh, button you can access a lot of different styles matrix and hand drawn everything you can access so if i just click on this yes let us try how it's look this matrix effects i think you know the problem it's in beta version and so it will take a little time uh, to load everything so if you click one thing it will take a little time so i just so you can create something like this and you can for your profile picture so just a sample things only so these are the child transfer and it's really interesting it's really cool and there are a lot of other options in this one i just turned off this style transfer and here you can access all these beta options and beta tools still in development stage not finished yet so first one smart portrait it's really really interesting you remember that uh, face app and and the prisma it's kind of those apps so you can uh, happiness you can change your facial expressions and everything you can do from here the problem will take little time uh, if you enable one if you are changing some value it will load a little time 30 minutes 30 seconds or 40 seconds around also you can uh, increase the facial age so it will calculate like face app i think one year back it's really it's trending on all over the world and you can control your facial age and hair thickness everything this is also really important for these photographers because once you click, click one photos and uh, your subject is not, not smiling you can do it from here no need to do anything and next one depth aware and here you can just control your depth and just pop out your images see here he is they will calculate your depth and add some foggy effects in between your subject and your depths and also you can control these warmth here so here the difference if you are using the camera raw if you are if you're just changing your temperature it will uh, change the warm and cool colors throughout the photos but here is different they will give you the proper warm and everything just try it out and in your photos then you can 
experience it that's all see these are the these are changes this is the original and this is depth aware so you can control the brightness and everything from here and also if you have multiple faces in a single photos also you can edit difference so all you have to do is just select this face then start the editing that's all so it's very simple to edit multiple photos also also you can uh, colorize your old photos this is another really interesting features just click on this colorize button that's all they will automatically detect the objects and they will colorize everything so this neural filter is a next tool for the yeah it's still in development but we can expect uh, the complete completed version everything as soon as so stay tuned